Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, Kona is the brown bangle, and then Scar is our new snow bangle. So we got Scar a few months ago, probably around a month and a half ago, and I just wanted to make this video um, to introduce him and to let you all know um, how having a second bangle cat is. Is it worth it? Do they like each other? Right here it looks like they do, but in this video, um, you'll see a lot of a love-hate relationship. So I'm just going to go over how it first was when we got Scar. Um, as you can hear in this video, they were very eager to meet each other. And you're supposed to wait 24 hours with them separated in separate rooms and then introduce each other. They did not want to wait. So then I did put Kona in the shower since it's like this clear glass door. Um, my bathroom could be cleaner, I'm sorry. But, you know, I live with a guy. Um, but they really wanted to meet each other. So I didn't want them to meet just yet. So I decided to keep them separated until when I was opening the bathroom door, like two hours after this video, Scar got out. And then um, they just started sniffing each other. And it was fine. So I was like, okay, you know what? We're going to let them be introduced. Um, so in this video, there was a lot of this. This was right after they first met. Kona kept like tapping his back paws when he was walking. She was very curious. Um, and then this video, they started fighting. So you're supposed to let them fight, the breeder said. If they want to tackle each other, tackle. But you cannot separate them while they are attacking each other because maybe they'll think that you're picking sides, you know? Um, and you know what? I did try and separate them once. Um, it wasn't this instance and when they were fighting, but they were not happy about it. Um, Kona was actually very pissed. So I let them go their separate ways as long as they're not drawing blood and being too horrible with each other. Um, so I just waited, you know, a few hours, let them be introduced. And honestly, they've been on separate unseparable since um as you see in this video they're play fighting they do this every day multiple times a day they zoom past me in the house and they play fight they're actually doing it right now on the couch that i am recording this on so it truly is just like the cutest thing ever just to watch two kittens play with each other after this video, um, or this little section of them play fighting, which I'm going to show a decent amount of because I think it's pretty cute. I could watch I could watch them play fight all day long. It is so entertaining to me. So I don't have all the videos of everything happening all the time. I try to live in the moment sometimes, but I will tell you um, the reason behind Scar's name. We originally named him Ash, like Ashton. Um, I just really liked the name. I thought it was cute. And then we realized, you know what? That does not fit his personality. We cannot call him Ash because he is such a troublemaker, an instigator, um, ambitious. He's also a very bad boy and a very good boy. Um, he's a good boy in the sense of cuddling. He will come literally lay on our face and sleep on her face he is such a cuddler all he ever wants to do is cuddle um but he is so bad um he climbs into he can open our trash can so it's like this cabinet that pulls out he pulls it out with his paw he pries his paw in there and pulls it out he jumps in the trash can and then he dumpster dives it is horrible like you'll just see him walking around with a piece of prosciutto and you're like where did you get that he will unroll every paper towel roll or toilet paper roll. He climbs up our walls. I'll just have to make a separate video of all this, but the fact is he's just so troublesome because of his dumpster diving. It's a really big problem, so I definitely have to get some type of child back for that. But um, in these videos, here's them playing in this tent. I got the tent from REI. Um, I'll put the link below if they still have it. Um, we originally just got this for Kona, and at first, the first two weeks, she would lay in it, and then she never used it again. Ever since we got Scar, they use it all the time. Okay, so now I really want to talk about the reasoning as to why we got a second bangle cat. Um, first of all, the snow bangle cats are beautiful. I have always wanted one, like the opposite of Kona. 
Um, but the main reasoning was because I was didn't want to leave Kona alone all the time. Even if it's just for eight hours while I'm in school or seven hours, I do feel bad leaving her alone for that long. So I needed someone to match her energy while I was away and couldn't give her all the attention in the world. Um, they continuously play. Um, so I definitely got what I wanted with that. But they do get into trouble together. They open doors together. They will unravel a toilet paper roll together. Um, Kona did teach Ashton to climb up the walls. I'll make a separate video on that. It's just a whole nother story. If you have a Bengal cat and you're watching this, can you please let me know if your Bengal cat climbs up your walls? Like they, they stick their nails into the drywall and they climb all the way to the ceiling. It can't be the only one. I was thinking maybe it's just Kona, but we've only had Ashton for like a month now and he's climbing the walls. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Um, so he learned very fast. But in this next video, here's them getting into some trouble together. Um, Ashton will unravel a whole toilet paper roll, but with the paper towels, he more so likes to bite it like you're just about to see. He likes to bite chunks out of it. Um, so, you know, our bill at Target has gone up because we have to buy a lot more toilet paper and paper towels. Um, but in this video, Kona just will walk over and start cleaning him. Um, Scar also cleans Kona. I kind of read that it's a dominance thing, but they clean each other. I, I think it's a cute thing. That's what I think it is. <laughs> so in this video, you'll just see Scar wanting to get some attention from her. Um, Scar's always trying to get attention from her. He always wants to play with her, lay with her. It's pretty cute. Kona's not always having it, but um, they make a good fit together. So I don't regret getting a second Bengal cat. There are some days where I'm like, hey, do our, any of our friends want another Bengal? It's just a lot of mess and chaos sometimes. I would say, honestly, the worst part is, other than getting into trouble, would be the smell of the litter box. We clean it every day. And if I have to, I'll clean it twice a day. But, I mean, I do live in a 700, like, 40-square-foot apartment, so that's pretty self-explanatory. It's just, like, it never smelled with one cat, so I thought maybe a second cat wouldn't do all the damage in the world. I think Scar just smells. <laughs> I think he takes some stinky dumps, if I'm being honest. Um, but, yeah, ever since we got our second Bengal cat, our house hasn't been smelling too great. So if you have any tips on how to get this out, that'd be great. It's almost um, summertime, so we can start opening the windows up soon to get that smell out. All right, so the question we're all waiting for, are they best friends or are they enemies? Um, I would honestly say both. Um, to Scar, Kona is her best friend, without a doubt. To Kona, I would say... Scar's her best friend and her enemy. Um, she's still feeling it out. I mean, they're super cute with each other, as you can see. They love playing with each other. But there's this times where Scar is annoying her, and she will meow and, like, you know, basically tell him, hey, piss off. But he usually goes away, and if he doesn't, they'll start brawling it out by tackling each other. Um, but I love watching a good tackle. But thank you so much for watching this video. I think next I'm going to make a video on Scar's first walk outside. Um, Kona walks outside with us. She comes camping with us. So I think it's only fair if Scar were to start, you know, going on little morning strolls with us too. So I'll make a video of his first walk. Um, and let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching.